this month is scheduled. So, because we have a live stream for live over the Dyer Gym Black Ocean Magazine YouTube channel. So it starts at a couple, a couple of seconds more. And then, first of all, say, good day, dear friends from Poland here, all of you here as well. People online watching the different pages of the Agent for Culture in my home as well. First of all, I would like to greet and express gratitude to the restaurant Sola in Torun and restaurant manager Jacob Zielinski and the restaurant staff who were very helpful guys that we had today in Torun. Thank you all for coming today and joining me here. Today we will be presented uh, to you two books of mine, which are available in print edition here as well as on Amazon.com. First, the book of poetry, There was Playground, published by the Transcendence Zero Press from Houston, Texas, USA, which editor you will see and hear very soon from the screen here. But before uh, listening to him, please let me introduce myself. I'm an author, professor from Bosnia and Herzegovina, who teaches in Italy, Rome, currently at the University of was the GPA, Slovenia, or even in Poland, and director's grant of the Nicolaus Copernicus University in Toronto, Poland. I can see some of my students here today, and I, I can say that I'm very glad to say it. Uh, I wrote 26 books, poetry, essays, textbooks, stage plays, short stories, and aphorisms, which were published in BIH, Serbia, Italy, USA, Germany, Switzerland, France. I'm translated in more from than 34 uh, five world languages, etc., etc. Before hearing Dustin from the video, let me read, as for the opening, two points of mine. Not guilty. It was nice to think and finally learn that he was not guilty. And he wasn't. What is guilt? After all, what interesting image of distorted thought that he was guilty. And perhaps he wasn't guilty at all. Accusers are guilty folks. Guilt breeds guilt. His, theirs, as well. Perpetuum mobile in the Balkans. I stepped, entered into the backyard, patio, and had coffee, Turkish coffee, espresso with my neighbor, fellow citizen. Then after, I took a pistol revolver and I shot myself, put a bullet through my head. Language does not fire bullets. However, the words you can use can end your life. Now, I would like to present your colleague, editor of the Sentence Zero Press from USA, Mr. Dustin Pickering, who will speak about the book. Thank you. 
you know, uh, you know, world peace of some sort, and you, know, you have Brexit, and you have Trump, and a variety of other factors all over the world that have um, sort of confounded this, and, um, you know, or, or more, what can we do, you know? Um, just keep, keep at it. Anyway, this book, The Devil's Playground, I think it says a lot, not just of uh, Zappi's country, but of our own hearts, the country of our hearts. Um, you know, we all want peace for the world, and we all want to establish that peace. And a lot of us have trouble in our personal lives, you know, not judging others and you know, basic things that are, you know, that uh, say religion requires you know, us to do. Or if you're a secular person, you know, you, you want to uh, be ethical in your actions and so forth also. Um, so I think that this book uh, will speak to you whether you're in Poland or wherever you are. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the book. Just uh, give Sappy my regards. Thank you. So because we are live streaming right now on the pages of Russia for Russia magazine, as well I would like to give my, my friends who arrived just recently, uh, Dagmara, Steven and Marcos from all my old friends. And I'm going to read three poems. Strange dreams. Hands buried in the sand, deep blood stained hands, both. I tried to reach the bottom of the sand, hit, digging deep, feeling pain. Two blue eyes, deep dive towards you. Blood shot eyes, both, carried on the wave of desperate tears. I tried to catch a glimpse of you, a lover who disappeared behind the horizon, Alas. You drew near, particularly, and embraced the world. Another one is the Eternal Dreams. I call out her name at night, while she is asleep. The reflection of probability is out of the grasp of my mortal soul, because Ariadne spun a yard from a molten coal. Michael, I call out her name at dawn, while she is asleep. She is strong if you are restrained, but she lost on the tombstone in the graveyard of my destiny. And the third one, it is part of promotion, the title of the book, There Was Playground. They understood, they didn't ask for anything else, but just the possibility to survive within the boundaries of a precious vision. Vision of world, without hatred and senseless shames living in the minds of their neighbors. They understood. They didn't ask for anything else, but just the hope that the right to live is a right of every human. And humanity remained where it always was, entrapped within the boundaries, lacking identity. Today, the life of them is about survival and waiting for the end. Are they there yet? I would like you to do some, take some refreshments as well, because it's over there, because uh, why we are uh, doing this. So the next second book today is uh, just published 10 days ago. The first promotion was in Lithuania at the Kavanaugh's faculty at one the scientific conference two days ago. Today the second one is in Poland, in Torun. And its title is Media Literacy and Media Ethics, The Only Way Out. Uh, to say a few words about the book before we hear some reviews, I can say uh, that uh, the, it's 368 pages. The, in regards to the, the four editors, Robert Stephen Duncan, editor in chief of Asia Review in the United States, Peter Tace from USA, uh, Dr. Habilitatis uh, Rota Simenetska from University of Copernicus, Poland, forward done by uh, her, book reviews done by Professor Dr. Dagan Nikodijevic, Dean of Falcon, uh, uh, Serbia, Professor Dr. Milos Babic, Professor of EOM, Serbia. Lucien Slovina and Dr. Uh, Dorota Simineska, and of course Peter Tate, publicist and research scholar uh, from USA. The book is a question of 40 essays of mine in the last two years, and at the beginning uh, I will just uh, read a couple of words before, before we hear some of the reviews online. The review uh, forward given by Dorota Simineska. Uh, the book titled Media Literacy, Media Ethics, The Only Way Out by Sabahumi Hajjialic is a collection of 40 essays 
devoted to the challenges facing modern media society. The author in content of the book particularly emphasized the importance of conscious social civic participation in the decision-making process at the micro and macro levels. He attaches special importance to education to the media and through the media. According to the author, preparation for participation in the media requires critical thinking. However, this problem is even deeper. Today's algorithms are so complex that they analyze our preferences, choices made, content and by adapting to them suggest other, other related ones. The accuracy of these choices is perfect, but sometimes you get the impression that artificial intelligence predicts choices that we haven't made yet. Personalization of information makes it increasingly difficult to access the situation and get to the truth. This state of uncertainty raises many questions about the ethical side of the media and how to use data posted on the internet and other information systems. Also, Dorota uh, says the following. There are organizing groups of the internet space. As professors, rice voting myself, our citizens, our citizens, the creation of democratic environment with understanding and avoiding and avoiding manipulation, which are tend to politicians regardless of the level of government from which they come. Page seven is enough. In his book manifests deeply humanistic faith in humans, emphasizing the power of individuality and responsibility of the individual. Responsible journalism starts with each of the individual journalists because the first journalist is responsible to himself, to the people around him, and then to all who may read what he or she writes and then to profession itself. Page 24. The collection of essays forms a coherent whole. Uh, they are written within the Mac for written work. The content is readable and makes you reflect. The content of the essays not only postulate to, of the theoretical change, but the author indicates the directions of change. In the book, we find the answers to the questions of how to put into practice the ideas of ethics and require responsibility. Another element extremely important for building an ethical society is transparency of the stages of work and decision making. Therefore, ethical standards should be based on intellect, experience, as the author writes, and wisdom. I recommend the book to everyone who is close to the issue of ethics and problems of society contemporarily immersed in technology. Content refers to problems, but also to possibilities. I would like now to present you a recorded video by the side of Peter Taste, scholar and publisher from USA, and his review of uh, my book. Societies with a healthy system 
ETNs and polls contain consistent disinformation campaigns about the major national information media channels. As of today, Southeast European countries of Albania, Moldova, Serbia, Croatia, and Negro Kosovo, Macedonia, Bosnia, and Herzegovina, suffer from random levels of self-destruction and organized crime with an ever growing influence in media, shaping public opinion, distortion of true facts, while movements in nations are tracing true economic aspects. Therefore, swerving their respective physical hands at a national level by injecting false information to public opinion at large instead of putting more money into the pockets of their fellow countrymen that are surrounded with the public. On the other hand, President Enrique Osaborados, gay of the Republic of Nicaragua, strengthened the national economy, established strategic relations with the United States of America, internationally trade and all the rest. Increased transparency in public offices and accountability became the highlight of his head. Nicaragua's president Ortega has a lot of head for his trust and promise to accumulate massive riches in the current president of Nicaragua. While the Asian corruption players have had to depart the national economy and the bank of the world being of the Nicaragua BBB, which is totally the opposite policy making and the opposite state practice that occurred during the presidency of Enrique Jose Morales Mayer in the years of 2000. In his book, Media Literacy and Media Ethics, The Old Way Out, Professor Salahuddin Hadiyarin states, the essence and significance of media literacy is primarily reflected in the influence of the media on the major democratic processes. The media today influences the shape of opinions, beliefs, and attitudes. Although there are differences in the level of media influence, all researchers involved in the analysis of the media of the Sui Kennedy's agree that the media have a tremendous impact society as a whole, and thus tell each of the points in the future of persons in their own circle. In the moment when we understand the influence of the media, when they call the media literacy, we are on the right path to prevent the dependence of the media, our hopes to use them as a tool for making judgments and attitudes in the creation of a healthy society of direct democratic consciousness and not the main dish of manipulation on the table of that individual or mirror of one's intentions. As a Southeast European intellectual with the rise of global intellectual with the rise of global impact, Professor Salahuddin Hatiyarich, unlike his fellow leaders, is cognizant of the persistent intersection that exists between information media networks and political groups. The latter have a tendency to always dominate the world. In this scholarly work, Professor Hatiyarich is generating a European discussion that strives to improve media literacy and strengthen the independence, accuracy, and efficiency of the information. In this context, it is evident that in spite of his own country, both the energy and are governed by some of the most politically ruthless Nazi nationalists, there is a light bulb. There is a light bulb represented by Sabahuddin Kazyavich, inspired by a genuine desire to reach economic prosperity and a free market system with strong democratic institutions and ensure respect for human rights. The very same principles that have been elaborated in most Europe over two centuries ago. Professor Hatiyavich spoke. States the importance of innovation, tertiary education, the European institutions focus on the promotion of lifelong learning, must focus on embracing and adapting some of the interactive concepts and notions available in the following papers. It's a great honor to be with you through the Washington DC area, and I look forward to visiting the university. university campus very soon. Thanks for your participation and active listening. Take care. Bye. So uh, this was uh, Peter Taze, it's called a publicist from the uh, United States of America. I'll just read uh, certain parts before I present the video given by the Professor Miller. i read certain parts, video by the Dean uh, from the Belgrade, Professor Dr. Dragan Kandilic, for Professor Dean of Faculty of Cultural Media from Belgrade, Serbia. Uh, with a look at the past century, we can undoubtedly claim that the prevailing thoughts, and of course all the reviews you can find within the book as well, uh, prevailing thoughts of that era of the dominant social theories of the time that are behind us, 
have not infrequently focused on the reflection of the uh, diverse and complex phenomena of mass communication media. From the perspective of the overall history of the media, the initial benevolent understanding of the media as objective and very mutual independence of reality, the so-called pre-theoretical period, uh, very quickly gave way to an approach that indicated serious theoretical reflection on various aspects of media existence in the social environment. If for no other reason, it is certainly due to the technological conditionality of the media, which takes it difficult to determine development flows and the limits of change or progress. The claim that knowing uh, what the future holds, it means that we are not looking for enough. The awareness the invention of the hypertext just comes from the media context and suggests our inability to understand the role and position of communications media in the future. In other words, in other words the biggest trouble about this issue lies in the illusion of its simplicity behind which lies the incredible complexity that references as well on complex media technologies, as well as on politics, economics, psychology, and many other aspects. Deeply aware of those circumstances, Professor Haji Alic, in his extensive study, as uh, Professor Nikodivir said, of media literacy, media ethics, the only way out, without pleading towards final solutions, points to two key directions in which efforts must be made unconditionally and what we need to do when it comes to our facing with the media future. The first, and possible, the main corridor of engagement, which the author advocates, is the continuous strengthening of social capacities in the field of media literacy. It would seem that there is nothing new and special about this, and that is just another series of reminders of the importance of this topic in our efforts to eliminate or minimize the consequences of various forms of media views. However, in his study, Professor Kajoyic makes a step towards identifying the main problems that make today's media literacy contentious and insufficient, and what and how, how changes should be made in this field. Being literate used to mean being able to express your thoughts and feelings through graphic science or letter. Since, from a user perspective, the process of acquiring expert knowledge in the field of heterogeneous mass media is very complicated and extremely uncertain, then what does Professor Harjaic propose to us in his consideration as a more reliable solution? His thinking is moving in a rather interesting direction, which, while respecting the basic rules of communication processes, primarily plays for the more responsible behavior of those who are the main actors of media processes, i.e., media employees. This will say that if the reception of any media content implies inevitable interaction of reciprocity in the trinity of media content user, then accepting uh, and adopting media content presupposes only one condition, simply called trust. Only by getting trust, which is guarantee of the reliability of media employees. That's the precondition for acceptance of media content by those for whom it is intended to be realized. The approach built its immediate reliance on another, not less important, aspect of current and future media practice that the author draws our attention to, namely, is heartily committed to affirming the ethical conduct of all those who in any way participate in media activities. So between the two ends of the communication channel, sending and receiving of the message, it is necessary to find ways to use media that will expose on the moral standpoint. I heartily and cordially recommend the media literacy media is on the layout, study for the public publication. Last but not least, of course, I would like to present you the recorded video given by the side of Professor Dr. Miloš Babic, professor from the Faculty of Management from Serbia and by Luka College from Bosnia and Slovina, and his review of my book. Uh, professor did, uh, uh, said, uh, was saying this in my language, joint language, Bosnian, Serbian, Croatian, Montenegro, and I will do the translation, you will just uh, hear a little bit of him, and then uh, I will do as well parallel translation of his words. <laughs> Respectable colleagues,
textbook, a collection of 40 certificates, published from February 2018 to October 2019 in the Think Tank Journal, Eurasia Review, USA Collectively, Media Literacy, Media Ethics, The Only Way Out, is an analytical example of the different processes of the understandings of media literacy within the aspects of the interaction of media literacy. Author, Dr. Sabahuddin Hajjalic, media theorist, extremely rich biography, recently is involved and deals with political manipulation within social processes, which joint denominator is fragmented cultural, social and political area in the world. Media literacy, if appropriately addressed to society through an appropriate educational period, can be helpful in defining opportunities for social development and immediate democratic awareness. This step, in a scientific sense, continues and broadens the debate about the roles and importance of media literacy within our time. As basic assumptions, the development of humanistic societies rather than the creation of obedient followers who run simple railroads which are given guided by the last thoughts of manipulation and exploitation of societies for their own purposes. Or as the author himself analyzed, by avoiding mediators with the ability to make timely and argumentative conclusions for the benefit of society as a whole within critical observation, promotion, but also action. As the author himself underlines, considering above all ethical criteria aimed at shaping the necessary modern professional journalists. Also, further emphasized that media literacy is a basic prerequisite for establishing a society of developed democratic cautions. At the same time, the second hypothesis emerged as a logical sequence from the textbook's title, referring to the political manipulation of the subject of political pluralism precisely on the basis of insufficient media literacy of the society itself. The third hypothesis concerns the professionalism of the mediators themselves, the journalists, one specific personality that lies between the public and the source of information, with a focus on ethics with no varieties and types. Intertwined and mutually conditional conditionality of the given hypothesis has presumed organization of the scientific research on the basis of which has been brought conclusions which shapes this textbook. The author also directs his work towards media education and or education of the media that he talks about developing skills that help to look below the surface of media messages, explaining the same media messages per se about the public and its interaction with the media text, the commercial implication of the media, about how the media contents, in addition to ideological also relevant messages. But the media has a social and political thought message implication. In this chapter, as well as the, the one follows, the story is about the aesthetical and ethical shape of the media appearances. Furthermore, the talk is about media literacy, which has been recently established as a separate scientific discipline. Colleague Sabakudin Hajjavic considers that mass media is an immediate, imminent cultural fact. It is difficult to imagine the cultural image of some country and not to have included the media in it and without valorization of media contribution to cultural assets. The cultural identity of some country is vain also from media attachments, and top media products are always recognizable in the wider cultural environment. The book also discusses the rules of mass cultures, folk and high cultures, commercial culture, and the role of mass media within global economic relations. Market, income, British, Jewish, and listening are the main criteria for not only because of proving the quality, but justifying the time to sell their ad to other agencies. Also in the book, 
were named and responded to the modern shocks that enable the internet as something that enables instant interaction within society. When talking about new technologies and media literacy or media ethics, the author answers, does journalism still mean anything within media literacy and media ethics? Who is the distributor of media text in the future? What will the space for creating media text look like in the future? And what is the journalism in the era of social media? The book ex excels with the practice examples and simply explains these scientific postulates. The whole book is creation of a textbook in which the author explicitly writes that the main goal in media literacy and media ethics is to create a method that is free from prejudice and which based on what has been stated so far should and most contain openness to the media world education, literacy, and ethics with the aim of understanding how important the media is with the educational process and not to look at the media, never exclusively the negative side, but to look as a means of assuming the development of society within the communication of all of the general. Based on the 40 essays presented, the theoretical and practical contribution of this study can be measured measurably with the methodological settings of appropriate understanding, implementation, analysis, and the improvement of media literacy and media ethics to prevent the construction of reality, which can often be a false picture of the real world in which we live. Media literate person will know very well how to distinguish construction from reality within media message on the basis of an analytical, targeted approach to a permanent form of education, from the early days of adulthood to lifelong learning for each of us, focused on quality fact-finding and false flashes, which are often just a story for the immediate needs of the those in control of the media. I wish you successful work. Many greetings from Belgrade, Serbia. So, again, I, have, I hope that you find this presentation helpful, of course, of those, of those two, two uh, books. So, uh, and I do hope that the books will find place, not just within universities and other library shows around the world, as well as outside of it, having in mind that in today's world of lost hopes, we have to focus towards literacy to save critical thinking, uh, to, to save critical thinking, and uh, having a, a further develop it, and at the same time having in mind ethics as the main lead for the benefit of the world, society as a whole, because that is, as the book say, title says, the only way out. Thank you all of you for being with me here today, as well uh, on live streaming through the YouTube channel of the of the. Uh, be a very important